Welcome to the Coast to Coast podcast brought to you by Play Picks and the Lines. Coming to you from the West Coast, Josh Lander, joined by my guy Nate Weitzer on the East Coast. And we are looking at our favorite video uh, that we love to bring you guys each and every day now, including this weekend slate here on Saturday, uh, where we have four games to choose on. It's our player props video. Uh, like I mentioned, four games today on the slate to choose from. So I think we got some pretty good options here. We continue to feel pretty hot uh, with these player props as we continue along. Make sure you are liked and subscribed to that page to continue to gra- grab all those videos uh, with us as we continue to bring them to you every single day uh, of this NBA postseason. Also want to head to the lines.com uh that's where we have our nba uh player props uh tool there so you can make sure you're getting the best uh lines and juice available on all of these player props as you are line shopping them also head to play.thelines.com that's where we have the opportunity for you guys to get a 25 dollars amazon gift card if you enter into that nba daily pick them challenge and get all of those correct we will send that over to you uh and as always if you do still need a FanDuel or DraftKings account Head to fdpicks.com or dkpicks.com. Find those listings in your area, such as what we've got for tonight's play uh, props. Nate, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm, I'm opening with Kevin Durant, but it's not with his traditional props. Uh, I'm not taking the uh, 30 points at minus 122 necessarily, which is absurd to note that he's getting that that kind of odds after he had a nightmare series in Boston so far with an 88 offensive Seriously. rating. but. You know, they're looking at the numbers. His usage rate is still 35%. He still had 27 points with the worst playoff game of his life because he had 18 free throws. Um, You know, if the Celtics are going to be that physical with him on the road, he's probably going to go to the free throw line a lot as well. But, I mean, so that's why I'm looking at KD to be the top scorer in this game at plus 175. Probably means he'll get over 30 points, but why not get the extra juice there? I guess he's competing with Kyrie on that front. But this being a night game, Josh, that means Kyrie could be a little low on energy. And I mean, it's more about Durant, just his name being dragged through the mud a little bit after these two games. I mean, he's still, y'all know who he is. And in the 2021 playoffs, it's just, you know, it's not like he had a rapid decline from there. He averaged 34 points per game, 51-40 splits uh that was with nobody around to to really threaten the rest of the defense because nobody was healthy he's had two spike games against boston in the regular season where he he had 37 and 29 points and that's where i get to my bet that i like here because he had seven threes in those two games seven for 13 um and if they're going to be physical with him like that i think we'll see more of the durant brings it up you know so he doesn't have to get chucked off the ball does that crossover and just pulls. And I think he'll pull eight to 10 threes at least. And he's a 40% three point shooter at home in the last eight seasons for him. So you're getting plus 150 for him to hit three of those threes. And I, I really like the odds there rather than say, you know, if we're so expecting him to get 30, he's probably going to mix in a few threes here, especially if the other team's going to be that physical with him when he drives. Yeah, I mean, he got a ton of points off free throws uh, in Boston, um, but I, yeah, I think he'll he'll have the ability to to get to keep shooting. And uh, yeah, it's Kevin Durant. I, I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all uh, in a game where you consider his usage rate to to expect it to be uh, in the 30s for sure, uh, if not closer to 40. So uh, I, I'm 100 percent with you uh, on the threes. I like the top score one. I think it's a fun one to be honest. Um, and, and at plus 175 seems like good odds for to be Kevin Durant. Uh, so I'm with you. On on that but i still get scared off by the 30 and a half points just because we haven't seen that uh, level of kd yet um hopefully we'll see it next game so that this can continue to be a fun series i am going to be a crusty curmudgeon uh, uh in this version of the player props and i'm gonna start with an under for uh the stifled tower as he's known rudy gobert uh definitely under like the under 13 and a half points um i, I don't know if you're scared of that a little bit more than the rebounds it's interesting because the rebounds are 14 and a half. Uh, I like the under there as well. Um, just because I also think, well, I don't think he's going to come off the floor. He played 29 minutes in that last game, which is not that many. I mean, he's in the regular season, he's averaging a bit more than that. So, you know, the, I think there was a bit of Quinn Snyder realizing he, he needed to take Rudy off based on the fact that the guy's in there for defense, but in this, you know, he's got a, what a 128 defensive rating or something in that last game. And, um, you know, you, you mentioned in the game video, the ridiculous stat that he had a, like a 211 offensive rating because he only took six shots and made them. Um, but, you know, then he was a minus 16, 26, whatever it was on the floor while he was out there because he's not doing his job on, on defense and he's not making a big enough impact on offense. 
I, I don't really quite understand how it's 13 and a half points for his, his you know, his line there. Uh, he's not doing that uh, in this game. I don't really need to look at anything in terms of how he plays uh, against Dallas in the regular season. Uh, it's, it's, it's a different game right now. Uh, and his inability to impact it is clear. So under 15 boards or under 14 points, however you want to mix it up, I'm with that. Yeah, I mean, it's about targeting a lack of playing time really yes. more than anything because the Jazz have to adjust here. Maybe they'll try to adjust with Gobert on the floor and punish the Mavs on the other end by running more lob action for him, uh, which is ba- basically how he got those six field goals. That's why I'm a little more scared of the points because I do think there's a, there's a world in which that's how Quinn Snyder adjusts. I also think there's a world in which he plays him less than 29 minutes because he's a negative 26 in these last two games. Maxi Kleba is 12 for 16 from three with Rudy mostly guarding him. And uh, yeah, he might have to go small and play and just bench the, the, the three time defensive player of the year, I guess it is, who has just been negated in the playoffs yet again. <clears throat> I'm going to go with, uh, with OG on an again, uh, totally called this one, had him at 17 and a half points for the last game. He goes for 26, five and four, on a 123 offensive rating. And now his points prop is only one higher at 18 and a half. PRA is the exact same, which he cruised past as well. Look, Fred Van Fleet is not healthy. Uh, Gary Trent still dealing with an illness. And Pascal Siakam just suddenly, I mean, the Sixers doubled him in the yeah. second half. And he didn't score. And and OG was like, all right, I'll take over. I, I pointed out how his usage rate was really damn low um, as he came back. Uh, from injury himself in, in early February, 17% usage rate, so under 15 points per game. But now in this series, usage rate is up around 25%, and he's averaging 24.5 points per game. He's seeing a lot of Danny Green on him, and we'll continue to see that because Matisse Stiebel's un- ineligible to play here in Toronto. And the Philly defense has just <clears throat> looked kind of bad at every turn. I mean, they're not giving up a ton of points because – the pace is down so far in Toronto, but in the half court, Toronto has very limited guys who can just create the way Ananobi can. And he's creating his shots for himself and getting into the lane. Uh, had four threes in, in both the last two games. Uh, I just, I like him to keep filling it up as basically their number one option if you're going to double, if you're going to double Spicy P. Yeah, by CP. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and there's, yeah, there, who, who else at this point? And I love the fact that Matisse Thibault can't travel uh, as he's trying to figure out, <laughs> however, he's trying to figure out avoiding the vaccine. Uh, but and he's not allowed to play in Toronto. So I, I love uh, the, uh, the opportunities that, that OG is getting, especially with a, a lack of options now for Toronto, who we don't necessarily uh, feel comfortable betting against to, as far as dead in the water here. Um, and, and if you do think that, um, they're going to, at the very least, make this competitive again. Um, it still can go under, and OG can get well over 19 points, as as I think he will. I also do love adding the points, re- the, the rebounds and assists in that one for him as well, which are only basically at nine more of those combined, you know, nine rebounds and boards that he needs, uh, and assists that he needs to get. I feel good about those as well there. So uh, going back to my curmudgeon ways, as I mentioned, Cat, uh, not – Going out on a limb here, am I to say that it's, he's likely to get another another under? I think, you, you know, you are right, uh, and I'm speaking directly to you, Nate, you are right to be scared of going under at the points a little more than you're scared of the boards. Cat um, doesn't rebound as much as you might think anyway, to be honest, especially uh, towards the end of the season um, and, and against a very, very good rebounding team, basically the best rebounding team in the league, although things are a little different when you don't have Steven Adams out there. But you still have some combination uh, of Bain, uh, Clark, Tillman, and Slomo, who all are very, very, very good rebounders and, and play bigger than they even might be. Um, so, yeah, I think there's still plenty of reason to like him to go under 10 and a half rebounds, which gets you even money there. Um, or you could talk about those points at uh, 24 and a half. The only reason to be scared is because he only had four shot attempts. And I'm sure Kat uh, has at least seen one headline or, or has at least been told by one person that that's too uh, little uh, and he too few. And he can't take that few if he wants to, uh, you know, Next to be considered question. a star. What's that? <clears throat> Next question. Yeah. That's when somebody <laughs> told him that. And he yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So totally. He next questioned somebody. I couldn't believe that. I was like, man, I feel like it's the first one I've seen in the playoffs. Usually we get like a good six or seven next questions in the playoffs. Uh, Cat K with it. It wasn't a dumb question, but it was like, yo, come on, man. Like, yeah, exactly. So it's been brought to his attention. Exactly. To your point. Um, I think the rebounds is, a, is not only is it. 
I actually think it might be a safer bet to go under for the rebounds uh, under 11 and it's also better odds. So why the heck not? Right. Yeah, I would combine everything and go under 38 and a half PRA too. Great. Because he's not he's not a playmaker at this point in his career. He's going to be a, he's he's still so young and and brash that he's probably going to go out there and try to force things. I don't know if that might, means he'll wind up in foul trouble again. I don't know if he'll turn it over, uh but he's probably not going to be under control making uh plays for his teammates and Memphis is the number one rebound rate, yeah, even even slightly better on the road. They're not going to really lose anything, I don't think, without Adams because those guys, Clark and Tillman, can box out and and keep Cat off the glass at least. Um, so, I yeah, I, I like under – with the plus 100 here, just him to get under those rebounds and then probably play it safe with under his total stat line. Even though I do think he'll bounce back and really try to get those 20, 25 points – definitely a good chance he's he still falls short of that because as much as you want it uh sometimes the other team just has has the personnel to stop you agreed yeah the more i think about it uh the more i'm like uh yeah actually i think i might kind of want to just take the rebounds and not the points and follow along with you there uh even though i was a little bit more bullish on the on the points before you got into my head about it so uh i'm with you either one of them are fine but that the rebounds better odds uh and feel a bit safer too so that is all the time we have in this one. We'll look to stay hot with you guys on these player props as we roll along in this NBA postseason. Make sure you are liked and subscribed to that page as we'll continue to bring you each and every game video until there is a champion. So until we see you next, happy betting.